This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Well, I don't know what, what I don't want to know what happened to her. Yeesh. Yeah, Sachi apparently can do it all. It's impossible to weigh one kind of unhappiness against another. Even say the sadness of a man who has lost a lifelong friend and the bitter sulking of a young girl forced to eat her carrots before dessert. There's no scale by which we can objectively measure misery. People have the tendency to judge themselves happier or unhappier relative to others, but such comparisons rest on a flawed assumption that we all think and feel alike. Another's misfortune might seem trivial to you, but if it brings genuine distress and suffering, anything can be a tragedy. <coughs> oh no! Who stole your Altoid Sours? <laughs> Whoever did it deserves to die. Altoid Sours are legendary. <laughs> and they cost like $5,000 on eBay! <laughs> Michiru turns her shark pouch inside out and shrieks. Although by now I'm somewhat used to this woman's tendency to pick up a fuss at the slightest provocation, when she's this loud it's impossible to focus on my reading. Surely a little candy doesn't warrant this much of a ruckus. One would think you'd throw in a pineapple only to have it bounce off a wall and land at your feet. <laughs> Dude, I don't think you understand how good Altoid Sours are and how hard they are to get. <laughs> You are so damn noisy, woman. Are you sure you didn't just drop them under the desk? Michiru drops out tall fours and begins to desperately search every inch of the ground for her candy. I could understand this position if she was looking for something small like a contact lens, but it hardly seems efficient when she's trying to find something as obvious as a container of candy. Michiru, my friend... Sorry. However, I feel obliged to inform you that I can see your underwear. <sighs> this wouldn't happen if the school's dress code didn't include super short skirts for literally no reason. As at you, holding your head and crying tears of pain after foolishly bumping into the desk, or at your simple white underwear, which is still completely exposed at present. How does this add to the story? Sakaki comes over to investigate the commotion. In response, Michiru flaps her mouth like a goldfish and points to her shark pouch. I bet Shib Machina stole them. She's the only one who would do that, I bet. <laughs> I, re <laughs> I repeat, Yumiko, <laughs> do you know how difficult it is to get your hands on Altoid Sours now that they aren't made anymore? <laughs> I bet you it's not actually ramen -A candy that she's eating. Now that you mention it, she wasn't glaring at us. Not in the least. She was exactly the same unfriendly individual as always. Are you even listening to me? I feel like Yumiko would be the last person to steal your candy. What? You're crazy! What exactly is a ramene face? Did she really have an expression like that on her face? Calm yourself, woman. There's no such feign. Probably as a result of her panic, Michiru seems to have grown somewhat paranoid. 
Well, that's always been an element of her personality, but it seems more pronounced at the moment. Also, she's completely incoherent. There are a few things as ugly as throwing around unfounded accusations. Usually, this would be the part where I deliver a swift kick to the ass with a steel toe boot, but I am dealing with a woman here, so that's sadly not an option. You're also not in the military. Yeah, she's definitely eating something that's not ramen candy that she's just pretending to. Or she is actually eating Altoid Sours. Hmm. Perhaps she's under some sort of chronic stress. Might be using the loss of her property as an excuse to let off some steam. <laughs> and just like that, this game became a detective mystery. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Michiru, you're, you're delusional right now. There's an imposter among us, and they stole the Altoid Sours. <laughs> I knew she would do that. <laughs> wow! I shudder to be Sachi's defense attorney in the future. <laughs> Michiru, you know full well how Sachi thinks. She's going to say she stole your candies regardless of the real facts. I seriously doubt you're going to find them this way. Hmm, it doesn't seem like Sakaki, Amane, or Sachi were responsible. Therefore... <laughs> Lingala. She's talking about something totally different, isn't she? Jeez, just because someone stole stuff out of your shark pouch doesn't mean you need to make a shark face. Um, yeah, I knew she was talking about something else. <laughs> How dare you, Makina! That was, that was Amine's Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> what were your snacks, Amine? <laughs> I only did it because I thought I could get away with it. That's that's such a little kid thing to say. Well, your nose had grown a little bit, Makina, but that's okay.
What is this game at times? I've I've been there. I've been there, Machina. You know, sometimes you just go to Cracker Barrel and you you eat way too much. You know you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I was the mastermind. Ridiculous. Why would I steal a bunch of fruit flavored sugar lozenges? <laughs> Michiru would be the person who plays Among Us and always throws out the innocent crewmates. Stop talking. You are a complete simpleton. Can we bring back the insult simpleton? It's a good one. I don't need to play any games. Look, just calm down and think this over carefully. What were you doing before you lost the... That makes no sense. A pillow turner moves your pillow to make the other end of the bed. That's it. It doesn't steal things. Don't ask me. Anyway, try to remember what you were doing before you lost the candies. If you slowly go back over your actions, you should be able to figure out where you dropped them. <laughs> well, it, it all started back when I was visiting Zabu Land. I was leaping along. Do you have the ramen candies at that point? When's the last time you're sure you had them? The instant Michiru opens her pouch, the color of her face changes dramatically. I can't quite read her expression. Irritation? Maybe regret? I think I can also see a rare hint of shame. What? <laughs> There's no way they were in your pouch the whole time. You literally looked at them at the beginning. What's this all of a sudden? Those candies are important to you, right? I'll help you find them. <laughs> you found them, didn't you? Inside the pouch. How did you think they were missing then? You just did. Pretty much groveled, in fact. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying at times, though. I stare quietly into Michiru's eyes for a moment. Then I abruptly break eye contact. In geopolitics, they say the country that breaks away from a staring contest first loses, but in this sort of situation, the opposite is true. By averting my gaze first, I take the initiative and fluster my opponent. Of course, I have an overwhelming advantage over Michiru even if I don't bother with this sort of trick, but it's something of a habit. I should really try to work on this instinctive need to exert control over others at all times. Having suddenly and unexpectedly lost their point of focus, Michiru's eyes dart around the room anxiously. The next moment, Sachi passes by the classroom, carrying a large suitcase. Oh yeah, she <laughs> she's off to Florida, too. Hmm? Sachi, my friend, I think you've made a slight mistake. 
You see, Amine asked you to wander off for a tick at, of the clock, not for the historic Attic Peninsula in southern Greece. <sighs> well, as long as you haven't bought the tickets yet. Well, Sachi's not firing on all cylinders. I don't mean say that to be rude, I just mean she doesn't think the same as all of us. Aww. Good choice. I hear the Parthenon Manju are pretty decent. <laughs> Which one? People have so many. <laughs> In the shark. So I was attacking people for literally no reason like you just did. Jeez, Sachi can be cutting at times. Sachi doesn't mean it in a malicious way, she just is stating the facts. <laughs> so really the only thing that this resulted in it was Amine's snacks getting eaten. Try to be a little more careful about crying wolf in the future. Sachi could have ended up in a foreign country and Makina very nearly changed colors. The only individual who knows the depth of someone's unhappiness is the unfortunate party in question. That said, there's nothing wrong with feeling a little sympathy for an innocent ghost forced to bear the blame for another's stupidity. Slight dis digression, but would the victim of a pillow turner be a pillow turny? While pondering these weighty matters, I watch Michiru wander off, her container of candy clutched tightly in her hand. Well, that seemed unnecessary. Okay, stop screeching! Jeez. Oh, okay, easy there, Makina. Easy. Mere moments after Makina stormed out of the into the classroom, she runs right back outside. Uh, what was that all about? Oh no, we better not hear her screech like that more than once. Oof. No! <laughs> I'm not listening to that again. <laughs> the new Princess Bride remake looks questionable. Uh, Makita, you look possessed by a demon in this picture. 
<laughs> so do you, Michiru! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> and that something is a feast for all of my brave knights. <laughs> I was not wrong. <laughs> I was joking about the feast! Concluding the conversation with her standard phrase of acceptance, Sachi leaves the classroom at once. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can still eat Ely rice. Eat Ely rice. Hey, computers have valuable information. Some of it wrong. A lot of it wrong. Jeez, stop being so mean to this girl. In any case, they say eel is great for replenishing physical energy. Never a bad thing to get a little extra vigor. I've never had eel, I'm not really eager to try it. Nobody said anything regarding that. Come to think of it, the Mamushi Pit Viper doesn't lend its name to eel dishes alone. It's also the name of a male... Uh, <laughs> I hope nobody dislikes eel, because if you do, too bad. Hmm, you're unusually obedient today. Ah, I see. Sakaki seems to be aware that any resistance she might offer would end in her defeat at the hands of the Demon Lord. Why does the kitchen have to be in my room? Sorry to interrupt, but I have a question. <laughs> now we're on a quiz show. Why are you doing this in my room? Because my room's the only one with a kitchen, apparently. Excuse me, I'm gonna lock the closet door. Oh, brother. <laughs> this is the worst episode of Iron Chef ever. Hi, Sachi. Just as Amine says, Sachi has entered the room a muddy mess. There are leaves and twigs sticking out of her hair. She had to fish the eel out of the river and then fight a bear for the rice. <laughs> so? 
の準備にはどれくらいかかるのもう少しだけ時間をいただければオッケーそれじゃあマキナサチの作業が終わるまでのつなぎは任せたわよボーム了解なのよさヘイボーム What? Hey, Bob. Was that the same voice actress who normally voices Makina? Like Machina at all. Nandai, <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> she isn't a voice changer. <laughs> like, what is going on? Yaksaku no Jikama de Mosco Sharshi. It's Mabushi de Motabete. He matsu Bushi Shinaika. Or is she lip syncing to a commercial? What the? What is going on? Oi, oi, Johnny. Japanese joke, Nante. It's a boy, Tandai. それこそ暇つぶしにねはあはっはっはっごめんやっぱ先進んでいいはいサチそっちの具合はどう Did I miss something? No, she was just saying that. It wasn't even something on the TV or what not. Wow. That was amazing. Oh! <laughs> See, some filler is good. Ah! <laughs> oh. That that is freaking adorable. That's a good thumbnail right there. Now that's that's a Food Network show that I could get behind. <laughs> that's, that's freaking adorable. The new Cooking Mama looks very good. <laughs> できるご飯よね。うっす。でも小峰さん、ご飯の方はその鍋でも炊けると思うけど、マムシの方はどうするの？この鍋で一緒に調理しますよ。へえ、そんな作り方もあるんだね。You can. It just might not turn out great. うん？そんな調理法あったかしら？ Now that she mentions it, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to broil the eel separately, then mix it with the rice after the fact. Also, isn't eel blood poisonous? <laughs> Is that on a, a living eel? Just as an uneasy confusion begins to spread around the room, the pot's lid opens up and a long slender fan emerges. Hello, little snakey. To be more specific, it appears to be a venomous Japanese pit viper, popularly known as the mamushi. Compared to the common snit rat snake, the body is distinctively thick and short. Um, this just got bad. <laughs> Holy cow! Whoa! That did... poor snake. <laughs> Holy cow! After a long moment in which the world seems to stand still, Sachi abruptly decapitates the snake with her kitchen knife. Cooking with Sachi just took a dark turn. I need this Food Network show. Hmm, impressive swordsmanship. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah, I'm not underestimating Sachi. She's very capable. While well, I look to my side, the previously enthusiastic Michiru is pale as a ghost. What's the matter, Michiru? It's just a kitchen knife. Nothing to be scared of. So what is? What? Are you scared of Mamushi Vipers? Snakes are cool, but also kind of freaky. 
With a few weak words of surrender, Michiru sinks to the ground of a soft thwomp. She can't die at this point. Eel and snakes are not the same thing, though. Yeah, she had a phoenix down, so she's good. Hmm. Mamushi rice has deer in it, duh. Yes, that poor little snake just got decapitated for nothing. Oh yes, Sachi! <laughs> Yeesh. Hmm. Today I learned that Michiru has issues with creepy crawly life forms. Also, that it's important to be precise in your terminology when making a request of Sachi. We learned that like five times now. 